We are going over the beginner guide and Vulcan in this video. Let's see. Going get the power rail. If you're new to the game, you're curious how Vulcan works, his abilities, you are in the right spot. We're gonna go over how all of his abilities works, a decent build for him, all that good stuff. Nah, First off, his ult. Team. Uh, you're gonna get an extra 15% movement speed in MP5 when you successfully hit an enemy god with an ability, and that will last five seconds. Uh, a good thing you can do for lane players, you can just throw that cannon up here, uh, and then walk over here and just watch your mana. Make sure no one steals it. So I still got the XP, it's my cannons over there helping them. But uh, that's how the passive works. It's pretty basic. Just land that ability on enemy gods, uh, and you will get that minus speed in the MP5. Uh, let's see. Let's go over your second first. Your second one, you're gonna place a cannon down. See that range? It's gonna shoot anything within that range. You can only have one cannon up at a time, and it will stay there indefinitely until you place a second one, or someone kills it because it does have a health bar on it. That cannon will do. Uh, it will inherit your penetrations. And uh, it will do an extra 50% additional, it takes additional damage from non gods So if minions smack it, it will die a lot quicker. Uh, it will also ignore 25% of their protections. Uh, so it's, it's going to be one of your strongest. Oof. Yeah, this Herc's been uh, saying stuff since the beginning. <laughs> We literally were in the lobby, and he was like spamming no and some weird stuff. Oh. Uh, but back to the abilities. So you want to throw the cannon up. Your one's going to do damage to everything it passes through uh, and shoot you backwards. Your three is going to hit everything in that circle radius and knock them up. So your cannon will target anyone that you hit the one with first and do percent increased okay. damage by 15% more. So, if you can hit them with the one, they're gonna take 15% more damage from your turn. Now when it comes to what ability you wanna level up, it just kinda of varies depending on who you're playing against. Like if, if they're not gonna be able to kill your turret, then, you know, it can make sense to upgrade your turret and have that constantly firing on them. But if you think your turret's gonna get killed a lot, I would just highly recommend upgrading your knock up that ability first. Dang it, they keep getting out of range of that. But you see I hit him, say so he has that mark on him. Now if he comes in front of it, he'll take 15% more damage and it will target him. It doesn't matter if something else is in front of him, like minions or anything, it will it will go for him specifically if the mark is on him. Your ult's gonna shoot forward and hit damage everything in this circle radius. The further you shoot it, the more damage it will do. So you can see it'll only do 80, oh no, 75% strength. So if you just fight it on yourself, it's only gonna do 75% of its damage. If you fight it further out, it'll reach up to its 100% limit. Another cool trick is you can throw your cannon up, and when they come to kill it, basic attacking it and stuff, you knock them up with your three. I'll show you if he comes for it. No, oh, it's actually just dead. <laughs> we'll try that again. All right, maybe. Oh man. Well, I died there because I wanted to show you all that. But we'll show you all that here soon. It won't take long. Yeah, if you're watching too, don't be hurt. There's no need for this. Cancel <laughs> that. It's just absolutely toxic for no reason. So you can kill that to where it's about to die one shot. Your current's going to finish it, and you can just walk away. Your turn has pretty decent health. Sure. You steal her mana. I guess they did. Good combo you can follow. Just throw your cannon up, knock up, and then shoot backwards. Your cannon will finish the front minions, and your knock up will typically finish the back minions. So I'm going to go ahead and upgrade my cannon a little bit more. Uh, actually, I do need to back real quick. Get these uh, Book of Thoth stacks started. They did just nerf, nerf Book of Thoth. Uh, so it gives less mana, therefore leading to less power by about 18. 18 power. 
but uh, it's still going to be pretty good. Oh, and he's also going to stack, so that is tough. <laughs> Being really passive all of a sudden. Good job, Herc. You're me. <laughs> like, why are they coming for me? Oh my gosh. <laughs> are they just that unafraid of my teammates? <laughs> I'm the furthest one back. Alright, well this game ain't looking so hot. Herc is straight throwing. Um, yeah, this is, this is ridiculous. Right. No I'm gonna whip out the tryhard mood. I'm gonna have to uh, explain some of my shit a little less. Because uh, you saw how they just really wanted me there. That was excessive. Full health. Two teammates in front of me. Full sent me in the tower. <laughs> no I'm problem. doing the most. My teammate is pretty, pretty right. dumb. Oh man, he didn't even stay in there. <laughs> this is annoying. Blaming the random sometimes, man. It is the absolute worst. Look at them. Complaining more than they're playing the game. Just stay back. I have to use them for cannon fodder instead of myself. Also, we should be out pressuring him, I feel like, with this combo, but, uh... No one said Herc was a smart man. Just get out of range. We can die. I'll just live to die and fight another day. We missed a little target. Oh, she behind us. I blocked her. I think she tried to run, but I forgot there's no pressure from the Herc. <laughs> An enemy has been slain. I'm about to clear the slain. Hey, you're welcome. <laughs> Oh my god, he's finally doing something. Man, obviously you should be playing an assassin, I guess. I, mean, I got him. I was hoping to kill him before I die, but hmm, that's funny. He's going damage. He'll actually be pretty easy to kill. Uh, now that I'm actually aware of that. Way to step up to the plate. Cancel that. Uh, I think we just about covered all the videos, though. Uh, all the abilities, like I said, he's pretty basic. I mean, there's not much to him. I mean, you know, he gets a uh, movement speed from this, backflips. Does damage on all of his abilities. You want to play around your cannon. I haven't really got to see that a whole lot. You should kind of see me throwing it and hiding behind it this game because we don't really have the best team comps really playing off of each other. I mean, the team comp's fine. They're just uh, 
team just refuses to kind of play together, so uh, it feels more like I'm just kind of soloing some of the stuff. So if that's the case, you're all going to be hiding behind it like I am this game. But if you have teammates to play around, you can throw up your cannons and uh, really maneuver around your cannon where they can't chase you very well. Bacchus. Yeah, that's how you want to land the combo. Uh, you want to you want to do the knock up and the one at the same time. Yeah. And you can't really do much other than follow up when someone's finally one shot. <laughs> it's really annoying. <laughs> So then you throw like that and then hide behind it, they chase, and it'll shoot him a lot, but uh, he actually just didn't even chase. They were warned. Way to step up on the plate. Cancel that. By their arrows, but their aim is the meaning of innocence. Yeah, this is gonna, based on how the Herc's plan, I'm gonna have to do the damage and then he'll finally go in and probably clean him up. That seems all he's been able to do most of this game. Actually, I think that's how he's gotten all four of his kills. So, yeah, I'm just gonna have to try to really poke him and then let him finally come in to finish him. He's not really supporting at all. Uh, so it's kind of annoying. But uh, you just gotta play around who, what you got. We'll go ahead and get Aegis. Fortunately, if the team knows to focus me and they shut down my damage, I don't think we'd probably get any kills. But I am staying pretty far back. I do got that extra 15% movement speed. So, I'm oh, going to take a demon. Sentries up. Uh, I got her one shot too. Oh, there he goes. He finished her. Like I say, he did the one thing I knew he'd be good for. <laughs> Maybe. I don't know. He didn't finish the other one. Our allies are in trouble. Oh my god, he's so dumb. Man is straight throwing. I hope he's gonna try to dash on me. He refused. <laughs> he will not step in front of my cannon. It's funny. Oh, afflicted. Oh, right. Church, church, church. There's no eye in team. Nothing gets past my baby. Return to base. Stay here. This ought to do. Uh. He's playing a little bit more aggressive for once. Maybe I can't add behind him now. They're still just so far back waiting to jump on me. My demon buff is already gone. 
That ult, by the way, don't be afraid to just throw it. It's really hard to land. It's very predictable to see it coming. Uh, and you'll get it back pretty relatively fast. Oh, he done. An ally has been slain. Damn it. <laughs> Look how weak they freaking are. Mm. He might be able to finish him. That's what he's been doing all game. Maybe. Nope. Uh, this time. An enemy has been slain. Oh, wait, he did finish him. Oh yeah. <laughs> it's literally all he's done all game. So it's no fucking crazy. <laughs> oh look, he did I something on his own. Hey. Sheesh. It's over. <laughs> Man's not even did it against this hunter since the game is started. Well, that sucks. It's ridiculous. <sighs> also, you can place your cannon when he walks out. I'll switch to my cannon like that. Doesn't take very many shots, but oh my god. No more power. This but uh, it takes a couple. Sometimes you can get that up. And then uh, when the minions are still alive, then when the minions die, they'll go to the cannon, and then right before the cannon dies in the second shot, you put another one up. I think we're both negative because all he does is hunt down the kills. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I am right now. Yeah, I have only confirmed it done probably most of the damage by a good percentage, I would imagine. Start being a little, a little toxic with them. Strike one was waking up. Man, he didn't say anything back. Strike three, picking my lane. It's just out of range. Alright, well, that is game. We won. We're fucking thirsty over there, but uh, I'll clear the minions. Oh, I can actually aim. That's fine. This man ain't stopping us. Alright, that's the beginner guy. I'm gonna play uh, Herc. That was kind of a brutal game for me. Teammates were uh, really annoying. And uh, really just had to look after myself that game. <laughs> <laughs> it was uh, not the funnest game in the book, but I think we covered all the abilities. If you think you'd like me to cover it a little bit different, you feel like I missed something, just let me know. But that is the beginner guide on how to play Vulcan. We'll go ahead and check out these stats real quick. I was a little negative due to the early game. I had to adapt to uh, figure out that I was not going to get the support I was thinking I would. But uh, yeah, we had decent damage. Uh, all right. Until next time, though, deuces.